a long night's journey into day, the path from suffering into bliss. I take refuge in the Buddha of infinite light. I entrust myself to the Buddha of infinite life. The spiritual story of this foolish being I sing herewith in verses for any to hear. I do not know when my karmic history began. I cannot guess how many endless kalpas I have cycled in birth and death, suffering and ignorant of the Dharma, wrapped in blind passions. Long before I ever knew about the Dharma, I was already known by Amida Buddha, who secured my salvation kalpas ago, as he had for all other beings who suffer. It is only when my karma had ripened that I finally came to settled Shinjin, the faith-mind consciousness leading to Buddhahood in Amida's pure land. Shakyamuni Buddha came into this world to reveal the Dharma of Amida Buddha, the savior of all suffering beings like myself whose pitiful lives stretch across the cosmos. In my current birth in samsara, my quest began with Protestant Christianity, one of the myriad religions misguiding the ignorant suffering masses. In Presbyterianism, which I was born into, I was taught about predestination, about how as a Presbyterian I was saved even though I had never requested it. It was because of the inconsistencies of all branches of Christianity that I was disillusioned about religion and became a frustrated agnostic. Even as an agnostic, I was welcomed into Unitarian Universalism, a religion that my father scoffed at, calling it practically zero religion. Yet even in its zero religion, I found some fellowship at a time of confusion in my life and spiritual chaos in a world burning with hate and violence. But such fellowship was not enough. It left me thirsting for more, for something truly satisfying, a path of truth and illumination. Bearing deep karmic wounds, I was weak and vulnerable allowing false prophets with sinister ulterior motives to take over my religious life totally. Seventeen years I was mentally trapped, seduced by the allure of spiritual reward, intimidated by threats of damnation, subjected to rituals of emotional torture. After round upon round of these abuses, I finally had had enough and walked out. Taking my abuser to court, I saw him as the blubbering coward he always was. My spiritual quest resumed in earnest. Many years followed in psychotherapy, leading to a new window of promise Tibetan Buddhism's warm allure. But finding it full of hard practices, I left it and dabbled for a few months in Nichiren Buddhism, its energy and glitz going nowhere but throwing me into despair. Then I discovered Honen Shonin and a book about Master Shinran. A light went on in my fevered brain, sensing that I perhaps was coming home. But it wasn't home enough just to read books, books, and more books by modernist Shin writers and teachers with their pet theories and divergences. Then a voice came through loud and clear on a Shinshu discussion email list, a voice calling for the Sangha to return to the pristine teachings of Master Shinran. That voice was none other than Paul Roberts, whose own discovery of the true teaching came during a period of personal grief, but he received Shinjin despite his tribulations through the mentorship of Aiken Kobai Sensei, a Shin priest who assured Paul that Amida Buddha and his vow of universal salvation were reliable, true, real, and fully trustworthy.
At first, while I was still enthralled by the seductive prose of modernist Shin teachers, I scoffed at and attacked Paul out of ignorance, not realizing he would become my mentor. It took me a few more years and mired in modernist Shin teachings, when on a day I will never forget, my teacher Alfred Bloom said, quote, Of course, there's no Amida Buddha, unquote. That rejection of Amida Buddha on his part threw me into a tailspin of disillusionment since I was not yet a person of Shinjin, and I was about to reject Buddhism altogether. I began to experiment with other religious paths, even returning briefly to Nichirenism with its virulent condemnation of Amida, his followers, and his path of faith. Yet a prompting came to me, doubtless by Amida, to seek out my enemy, Paul Roberts, for his opinion on whether Amida and the Pure Land were real or just a symbol, as the modernists were saying. As a last resort, I phoned Paul that fateful day, and he said to me without hesitation, Yes, Amida Buddha is a real Buddha. Yes, the Pure Land is a real place. Just hearing those words was all I needed to come to Shenzhen in a bolt of light, for the truth resounded so authentically in Paul's words of entrusting and deep faith. This is a perfect example of the importance of having a true teacher, a person of Shenzhen, one indeed qualified to transmit correctly the Dharma of Amida Buddha. My seeking had finally resulted, at long last, in finding the answers I yearned for, the solution to my entire karmic destiny. I simply said the Nembutsu and was saved by Amida. Master Shinran wrote of the wisdom of Shinjin, and although I'm still a foolish bamboo, caught in the straits of blind passions, I know this most important thing of all. That most important thing is Shinjin. All the learning in the world means nothing if there is not full reliance upon Amida. Shinjin is the greatest wisdom of all. And living in the wisdom of Shinjin, though I'm but a foolish bamboo, I know what the ancients long sought, the way to nirvana, Amida's primal vow. Truly Amida is the greatest of all Buddhas, for only he devoted his entire enlightenment to the precondition of fulfilling his great vows to save all the suffering beings everywhere. Experiencing the vastness of Amida's compassion has awakened me to the great Bodhisattva vow, beings are numberless, I vow to save them all, and so I will when I am a Buddha myself, when I'm reborn in Amida's pure land at the end of this, my last life in samsara, and join Amida and his legion of Buddhas to save all beings who still suffer. By saying, Namu Amida Butsu, I thank my Savior, Lord Amida Buddha, for saving this struggling foolish being from the bane of endless birth and death. This is the true meaning of rebirth in Amida Buddha's land of peace and bliss. It is why all the Buddhas rejoice when persons like myself come to settle Shinjin. And with settled Shinjin all will we be well, for the attainment of Buddhahood will be, as it already is, the common inheritance for all beings on every plane and world. Kimyo Jinjipu Mugeko Nyorai. I take refuge in the Tathagata of light unhindered in the Ten Quarters. Amida, my Savior, the Savior of one and all by Richard St. Clair, also known as Shaku Egan.